my name is uh, Ashley Towell and I carried out my PhD in Trinity College Dublin and I did a short postdoc there afterwards and um, that finished up this year and currently I'm working in um, Novartis Pharmaceuticals as a medical writer. My research during my PhD and then into my postdoc uh, was focused on the bacterium Staphylococcus aureus and how it colonizes atopic dermatitis. Um, and kind of why I was really drawn to this project particularly is, um, I guess, the fact that it has both the, the host aspect and the microbe aspect. Sometimes I think in, in micro we get really focused on the bug and we kind of you know, forget that there are other hosts involved. And so what I really liked about this was that I almost had to learn as much about skin as I did about the bacteria. Atopic dermatitis is, um, I guess, the medical term for eczema. So <laughs> most people have heard of eczema, but if you haven't, um, it is an inflammatory skin disease. And basically there, it's, there's some genetics aspects and it's, it's, it's mainly um, from, from abnormal immune signaling and patients uh, end up with skin barrier defect and their aspects of their skin is, is quite different to healthy skins. They've reduced antimicrobial defenses and they have a completely different um, microbiome on their skin. Uh, the diversity is massively reduced and they have huge colonization by staph aureus and this um, correlates with the severity of the disease. Atopic dermatitis, it's, it's a, a common disease, especially in children, but a lot of people, you know, they wouldn't know that it's, there's any sort of microbial aspect related to it. So during my PhD, actually, like, strangely enough, getting ready for conferences and also writing my thesis, which I don't know if a lot of people would say, the things I actually really enjoyed, um, I really like that you can, you know, you can take all your data and making a story out of it, like to have, this is why we did this, that led to this, and this is what it means in a broader sense, and making that into a story and making it you know, usable to the real world, because I think sometimes we so focused in on individual experiments that we, we forget to look at the bigger picture and also we forget to communicate it to non-science people. So that was something I always really enjoyed. It was also something that I found really, really important. And then obviously the, the, the skills that you learn during a PhD are, are perfect for scientific writing, like you, you learn how to write manuscripts, you learn how to develop presentations, you learn how to write scientifically, which you all know is, is very different to writing like in an English um, way. I was, I was just, I was speechless, honestly, because um, like that, you know, because it it, uh, it's virtual, you, there's no audience, you don't know how people are reacting, you don't really know whether you answered things correctly or whatever, um, so I was, I was completely speechless and then I had a little while to process it and I'm just, I'm so chuffed. <laughs> it's like a PhD, I think anyone knows in research that it's, it's, it's exhausting, it's stressful, and it's so nice when your work comes together in the end, when you have that story to tell, and then when that's recognized, it's just such an incredible feeling, and it's, it's such a huge honor. And um, yeah, I was really, really happy, especially like all the presentations on the day were fantastic. I, I never thought I would win that, honestly. Um, but yeah, I was, I was really happy about it.